All right, here is the second track. Um, we recorded the lesson on orthographic multi sketch because the first time it did not record well. So to make a multi view sketch, and we'll do it at this rough here this time, um, you go to new. New open. All right, there we go. And we're going to do ANSI under English because these, this was made in English. If this was, say, the cell phone case, we'd make sure to do metric and ANSI. ANSI is the American Numerological Standards Institute, I believe. Uh, it's, um, it's standard. And there is a little picture of an orthographic drawing on the, the drawing one. So we, we create, we click on it, we hit create. Yep. And by default, for some reason, it chooses D scale, which is fine. It's uh, it's very large. You would need a specialized printer called a plotter to print it. And we don't want that. We want a size that we can uh, print out. So um, okay, this is uh, 34 by 44, I want to say. Um, and if we go right click on sheet one, there'll be an option that says edit sheet and go there and change it to a scale. Each one of these decreases by a factor. So this C scale is up on my wall behind me. B is also behind me and A is a standard piece of paper uh, or a standard piece of notebook paper, let's say. Um, We'll go over that more in person. Uh, the ANSI large, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to right click and hit delete. I want a smaller one that fits for the, the scale. I go here to the plus box under drawing resources and go to the plus box with title blocks. There's ANSI A, which is just smaller. All right. So uh, much like when you're doing a part, the very first button is the button you click. In part, it's start 2D sketch. Here it is base. And there is our chest. So I'm going to move it up to the side here because we should basically divide this into four parts. There's a closet here, a closet here, a closet here, and the front view should be here. Now, this front view, it's uh, the stairs are leaking into the door. So I'm just going to change the front view. Give you that doesn't happen in. Um, you should click here, here, here to get all four views first. There's the top view, which goes on top of the front view, the right view that goes to the right of the front view, and the isometric view that is over here. Uh, that's up in this corner, an old trace point. Now, let's say I didn't do that. Let's say, uh, for the sake of argument, that I just had that. I could go to projected, click on that, uh, click on that front view, click on the two places where I want to be, right click and hit create. And it will create them again. Um, I want to have all three views, and I want to be able to click on the little red box and be able to rearrange them and have them still like, which will do as long as you've created them together. Top in, on top of front, side, right side to the right side of the front. Uh, now, because this is a rotation part, the dimensions are going to be pretty easy. You are going to have to dimension it. For the dimensions, you should have basically the dimensions that you specified. Now, if this was a professional part, uh, everything should be dimensioned so that you could make it. But uh, you're not doing this professionally. So uh, we've got how big the whole thing is around, how big it is above. Let's see. That's the midpoint 
And it's like, oh, you want to measure from the midpoint? No, I want to measure the whole thing. There we go. Uh, let's do. Where is this too long? Oh, I didn't draw. So apparently it was 1.8 high. Probably I suppose 0.1, but sure. Could be, be 1.8. Or I guess this is probably 1.8. Guess. Okay. I think the sound went back in. Uh, the uh, microphones that the school gives us are kind of cheap. All right. Let's go with right. off of projections. Um, Come on. Let's move. Do it like that. Um, the dimension should be in between the views. You should never dimension the isometric. Um, generally, you're going to have uh, dimensions on three of the views, but because this is something that is symmetric, the, di the dimensions from this one are the same as the dimensions from that. I could mention these because these should totally be. We're all at, in theory, 27 degrees. Um, you could write, you know, so if you have a repeating one, but um, I'm going to say it's assumed it's difficult. All the all the dimensions we specify. There we go. Now, uh, I'm not quite done yet. I need to say put a name on it. Let's see. There we go. I need to put my name on it. Uh, make it a little bit larger. And I need to say what the thing is. Title. Roof. Roof. With staircase. As far as stairs. This one was printed in block. Uh, professional, when I did these, I would always make sure there was a drawing number in there that matched with our company's nomenclature, our way of naming things. Um, every time it got uh, updated, the revision number would change. Uh, we would also check things. But of course, uh, we're, we're, we're not doing this for a job, so. Getting your name on it and this. Incidentally, uh, also it has, it auto fills in who it's drawn by over here, but you will notice it's your student ID number and I don't want to look up your student ID number. So put your name there. All right, so that's basically it. Hopefully the sound will come in this time and uh, you can hear it. All right. Uh, which next? <laughs>